You want to use a time filter on your trading bot strategy? This is how you can make your bot only take trades during certain times of the day or days of the week. Let's go. To get things started, we're going to our strategy builder. To open this up, we go to our NinjaTrader control panel, select new and select strategy builder. When you do that, this page will come up. So we just create a new strategy, next. And you can name this whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it time strategy and next. To keep things simple, I'm just going to keep it on bar close. This just means it's only going to calculate our time once a bar closes. And what we're using this for today, that is plenty good enough. So just select next. This page is just for an additional data series. We don't need it for this example. So let's skip this. Now we have our inputs and variables page. And this page is where we're going to select our customizable start and end time. So we come up here to the user inputs and the user inputs are going to be the customizable features inside your strategy properties. This is going to make it a lot easier for the user to quickly change the start or the end time later on. So how we do this, we go to add, select a name. So I'm just going to go with start time one. We go down to the type and select time. And this is when you want your strategy to start trading. So for example, I don't wanna start trading until 9.30 a.m my local time zone. So I just select 9.30 a.m. Hit OK. And now we do the same, but for the end time. So end time one, time. And let's say I want to stop looking for trades around maybe 10.30 a.m. This and hit OK. And now we can move on to the next page. So now we have our conditions and actions page. And this is where we actually build our strategy. In this example, I'm not going to build a full-fledged strategy. This is just to show how to add time to your own strategy. What that means is whatever code we're going to build today, you would add that to your own strategy. This is not a strategy on its own. So now how do we filter our strategy so it only takes trades during certain times? So we come up here to the top box, add, we go to time, and you wanna come down to time series. And this is just going to get the time of the most current bar. So now you want to make sure the most current time calculated is greater or equal to your user input and your start time that we chose in the previous section. Now we have to do something similar for the end time so it doesn't keep taking trades beyond when we want it to. So again, go to add time, time series. In this case, it must be less than our user input and we select our end time. So what we're saying is in order to enter a trade, the most current time has to be above our start time, but below our end time. When we have this ready, we can just go to our actions page, select add, order management, and we can do something like enter long, just keep it simple. We're going to compile and see how it looks on the chart. Once we have that, let's right click on our chart, strategies, and scroll down to your time strategy. From here, you can see our properties have our start time, our end time, we can easily select whatever time we want. Let's just keep it at default, hit apply, okay, and make sure you enable your strategy in the control panel. All I'm saying with this strategy is if the most current time is within our defined time, we're going to enter long. We haven't set any stops, profits, anything like that. So it should just be one buy order until the strategy closes it at the end of the day. So here, if we look at the most current date, we can see the time at the bottom of the chart. And once the time reaches 9.30, it enters on the next bar. So here we have our buy order because the time was above our start time. And we're still in the middle of the day. So this particular order has not closed yet. You can tell because it is yellow down here. But once we reach the end of the day, this should automatically close. Let's go to a previous day. So again, look at the time down below. Once it hits 9.30, enters long on the next candle and it exits at the end of the day. And we can see that is true for all the previous days as well. And now that brings us to the next part of the video, which is how do we exit the trade once our end time is hit. This is if you don't wanna keep trading after your end time and you want to exit right away. And how we do that is pretty simple. Let's create a new set. In here, you want to define your current market position. So if we go to set one, we are in a long trade. So that means in set two, if we want to exit a long trade, we have to define that we are in a long trade. So go to add, we go to strategy, current market position, is equals to strategy market position 
long. Now we want to make sure we only exit when the most current time is above our end time. So again, we go to add, we go to time, time series, which is the most current bar defined by bar to go zero. So once this is greater than our end time, we can simply send another order that will exit our long position. And from here, I always like to make sure we're exiting the full position. So I go to set strategy and current position size. This will ensure that whatever position size your strategy entered, it will exit that same amount. And we hit okay. And now we can hit compile. We'll disable our strategy just to refresh it, enable again, and this is what it comes up to now. So we're going to zoom in on today's date. So again, look at the time, 9.30 rolls around, we enter a trade. And here, once we hit 10.30, you have to remember we are on bar close for this example. So it actually has to wait until this next bar closes in order for the strategy to exit. So to make that just a little more efficient, Let's go back into our end time and do greater or equal to. Now we can hit compile. And let's refresh this strategy. And that looks a little better now. So once it hits 930, it enters on the next bar. Once it hits 1030, it exits on the next bar. And we can see that is true for all of the other days as well. Now, another thing I get a lot is how do we trade only certain days of the week? I'm going to show you how to do that on Builder. It is a little bit limited, but it will work. So let's go back to set number one and we're going to create a group. And with this group, we want to make sure we select the if any option. This just means that if any one of these conditions is true within the group, then our conditions to enter our trade are going to be true. So let's go to add. And here we're going to go again into time, but we're going to go to the date series. This is going to be the most current date. So we want to make sure the date we are trading is equals to time day of the week. And this is where we can select the days of the week we want to trade. So let's say I hate Mondays, got the kids on Friday, Wednesday, it's not a good day. We only want to trade Tuesday and Thursday. Here we can define that. And this is just an example. Choose the days that you want. I'm not saying only trade Tuesday or Thursday. We select Tuesday, hit OK. Now we go back into it. We go to time. Again, date series, time, day of the week. And we select Thursday this time. So this means if either the most current date is a Tuesday or if it's a Thursday, then it's going to enter a trade. So let's hit compile. All right, let's refresh the strategy and see what it did. So disable, re-enable, and today is Wednesday, so no trades. But if we go back to yesterday, the 20th, it definitely took a trade at 9.30, exits at 10.30, and let's keep scrolling back no trades, no trades, until we hit the 15th, which was a Thursday. And now we can see it only trades the days of the week we defined. Now for the final part is how do we add multiple times to our strategy? Let's say we want to trade the morning session at 9.30 a.m. and maybe the afternoon session around 2 p.m. How do we do that on Builder? And again, with Builder, we are very limited in what we can do. I do suggest if it's in your ability to unlock the code and then you can simply build an and or statement inside a bracket just to give you a little more customization and keep your entry order within one set. But if we must stick with strategy builder, that's fine. I'm going to show you a couple little workarounds that may be helpful. The easiest workaround to have multiple start and end times on your strategy using strategy builder is to simply load the strategy more than once. So here we can see I still have this loaded, but I can just go back into strategies, load our time strategy a second time. And let's say I want to trade, just like we mentioned earlier, 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. Hit apply and we enable this one as well. And let's zoom in to see 
what's happening. So we start at 9.30, we enter on the next bar. At 10.30, we exit on the next bar. Then time goes on. At 2 o'clock, we enter on the next bar. And at 4 o'clock, we exit on the next bar. And we can see if we go back to previous days, it does that on every single day we had to find. Now, another workaround to do this on Strategy Builder is to simply just create another set. So now we're going to copy our first set and we're going to go back into our inputs just to create a second set of variables. So add start time two and time. This time we're going to keep it at 2 p.m. Again, this could be whatever you want. And the same for our second end time. So end time two, time zero four p.m. Now let's go back into our third set we just created and change these to reflect our new times. So start time two and end time two. Our condition group can stay the same if you want to keep trading on the same days or you can choose different days if you want, but we're going to keep them the same just to make this video a little quicker. And now one thing we have to keep in mind with this, if you're planning to exit once it hits your end time, is to account for our second time variable now. So we have to go back into set number two because right now we have it defined. So anytime it detects it's over our first end time, it's going to exit. So what that means is when we enter our second time period because it is higher than our first end time how we have it right now is going to exit that position right away and just so you can get a visual of how that looks we're going to compile and then we're going to fix it so here once i refreshed our strategy you can see at 9 30 no problem it entered right away and it exit at 10 30 just like we defined but come two o'clock it enters, exits, enters, exits, and it keeps doing that because this set keeps exiting our order. So how we fix that is we want to make sure that in order to exit, that yes, the most current time must be above our first end time, but we also must make sure that the most current time is less than our second start time. So if we compile that, we can see how it looks. Let's once again, refresh the strategy. Now we can see it enters, exits, enters again at our second time period, but now it's going to session close. So if we want a second time exit, we should copy this set number two. And now we're going to adjust it for our second time period. So we can get rid of this line unless you're having another time period then you just have to keep adjusting for the next start time. But for this one, I can delete that. And we're going to change this one to end time number two, just so when the current time is above our second end time, it will exit our trade again. All right, so now that's compiled. Let's again, for the last time, refresh our strategy. And now we can see we enter, exit, enter, exit. And of course, guys, this is just a very basic template. You would add all of your conditions to enter a trade on each set, and you would add your stops and your targets as well. The template we created today is just to help with the time filters. So this would obviously need a lot more to be an actual strategy, but I hope you guys found this useful. You can download this on the Discord in the code samples room. I'm going to leave the invite link in the description down below. So always take care, enjoy.